the peace of God be with you all. We thank God for how far He has brought us. He has given us another opportunity for us to come to His presence to continue the program. I like the song so much and I use it to fill with the story. So these are some of the songs I used to play. Not those that is going on double double and all that thing. We don't know what is doubling. We have come to the point doing research in the Bible has caused great harm in Christianity. People that are worshiping God through Jesus Christ, each and every one has realized some things is not right in Christianity. So many things wrong. And the questions came and I try to find out the cause. Those that are having dream vision and everything that they realize it is not going on well for us. What is the cause? What is going on? What has happened? God said his people are destroyed from the lack of knowledge. So God has identified the problem, his people will be perished. And last video and last week we let you know God doesn't have solution. Because human believers have rejected his solution. It, the reason why his people are perishing is that they lack knowledge. And he is ready to provide them the knowledge and they are not ready for it. How and why? There are some people that used to bring me some questions at some point. This program I'm doing, my resume, I let you know now I understand my calling. Even though the viewers are not much, but it's still good. Sometimes because somebody call me, try to ask some question, I say no problem. I'm very busy. I will send you the video and the audio about the question you are asking me. That man was in our group. That group where I'm posting this, he's there. But they think they are doing something to me or in Christianity it has become politics. Like I've been saying, if the message is not going in line with his church belief, he may stop following or listening for some time. The message may come on their phone and they will delete it. So when they get a question or a point that they want me to help them, I will send you the video or the audio. And that's what I'll be doing. So it's good that I'm posting the messages here, Facebook, YouTube, and WhatsApp. So anytime anybody will bring any point, any question, no problem. I will not have time to talk, 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 talk. If something that is in brief, no problem. But something that needs explanation, I'll give you these messages I'm sharing here. So we are not to be discouraged about the number of watching, but I know whenever anybody needs this kind of message. Very, very vital information I'm providing in Christianity. It's rather unfortunate the status in life or in Christianity is the problem. So we are providing them here. Whenever anybody wants to help him or herself, you will come here or when you come to me, I will come here and bring it and give it to you. Take your time, sit down, watch. You get what you want to hear. Doing research in Christianity has caused us so much. Doing research in the Bible has caused so much to Christianity. Those of you in our language, Ghanaian language, I have four of this video. And I'm summarizing it one, to make it one in English. So this one is going to be in brief. So if you go beyond one hour, you bear with me. It's once a week. If I do it 30, days, 30 minutes a week, every day, how many minutes? So once a week, if you go beyond one hour, bear with me and Sometimes when I divide them, 
when you see the view, the number of views are not the same. Always one is higher than the other. That means not everyone that watch part one will have his son on part two. Unless those that have subscribed on YouTube and those that are on the Facebook. So those that who don't know me and they will lay their hand on one, one will be missing. That is why I try every point like this, I try to finish it. So that the viewers will not get part one and the part two will be missing. So thank God for that. We are trying to find out the problem we have in Christianity, the cause. God has identified the reason why the people that he died for them after this painful crucifixion, he, the people are so perishing. That is that they lack knowledge. He provided knowledge, they reject knowledge. The work God gave to his people to do for him is to provide knowledge. Go and make disciples of all nations, whoever believes, baptizing them, after that, you bring them in and provide all the knowledge I have given you so that they will obey them. Provide everything I've commanded you. So those commandments or the commandments that he gave to his people were the informations that they need. So John chapter 13 verse 17, our memory verse. said, now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Now that you know, so Christianity is all about knowing something, but the imposters have, have uh, stripped you from your way to the other way because of that is what we want. So when they come, one Bible passage, and they will shout and shout and shout and prophesy on you, to, uh, motivate you, elevate you, encourage you, and then you feel good to continue to stay and worship God under their feet for them to gain what they want. After that, when you list the richest pastors, their name will be there. Even if their name is not there, they also have good. So, the problem, one of the problem, the reason why the people of God are lacking knowledge is the research. Christians are using the same are using the same Bible. Somebody might not like the NIV because of how the words or maybe some mixing words or something. They will like the kingdom, they will like amplifier, they will like this order. It is talking about the same thing. So I have all of them here. When I'm teaching, I use this one. The English, simple English for everyone to understand. So if you want to read it, you take the scripture passage I could. Use the scripture you want to read that, that suits you and you'll get the same point I'm talking about. That is what we are doing here. The problem we have in the Bible that the practices of Christians, some of them are disobeying God and they will not let you tell, tell them that they are disobeying God because their pastor says so. Their pastor says so. Last week and last video, we let you know how did your, so your pastor became a pastor, I think two weeks ago. How did he become a pastor? Who called him to become a pastor? What was the qualification? Did he have had any calling? But there are some other ways, even if there is no call, you can call yourself. And it is accepted in Christianity. May the Lord have mercy on us. These people follow the originators of research. I have been mentioning them in my teachings and I want to take you through in brief, like I said, it's four different videos in our local language with great or more details. But I want to make it in brief for you. I see a drubajiwa at a word to a wise is enough. If you want more if it confuses you a little, you want more details, come to me. I will have time for you, okay? Uh -huh. 
The reason is that researchers in the Bible can never find the truth because of the nature of Bible. The way Bible is. Bible, when you are reading Bible, you will not find any place that this book is called Bible. So it is the name given to the book, which is the word of God, the compilation. They compile all of them together to make it a book from different writers that were all called and used by the same God. So because of how it came about, doing research will never come out with the truth. You are going to use scriptures. This Bible contains everything that every believer needs to know if you don't want to be deceived. So let's take how we got Bible so that we can go over and see if it is appropriate, if it can be helpful to find any truth doing the formula of research, doing the method of research. 2 Peter 2, 2 Peter 1, 19 to 21. 2 Peter 1, 19 to 21. We have, we also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable and you do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rising in your heart. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of scriptures came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in the human will. But prophet, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. I have already uh, taken you through how the Bible was written down. Here is the summary. The Holy Spirit, who is God, but a spirit, used human being known as servant or believer, who have been called and set apart to be used by God. And the Holy Spirit provide some information for them to write it down. When you go to Jeremiah chapter 36, one down, you will see it, the examples over there. God told Nehemiah to bring a book and a scribe and ink to write down all the words God himself has spoken to Jeremiah from the time he began uh, talking to him. He should write them all of them down. Jeremiah did, could not write because he had never attended school. So he called Baruch who had been educated. So whatever he received from God, he would tell Baruch and Baruch will write down for him. And that is how he got Bible. So that's why I said, do was uh, a bad prophet, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. So the words were given by the Holy Spirit for fellow human beings to write it in the language we understand. And after that, it said it is completely reliable. You can depend on this Bible and make it to heaven. So the question of research, if you know the nature, if you properly understand the word research, and if you understand how we got Bible, you will see they are opposite side. They are opposite side. I'm going to read the definition with the scripture support for you. Definition from the dictionary, which the definition they are giving is already recorded in the Bible. But I want to take you through these six people here. All of them have done research. And none of them have come out with the truth. But the people who are leading us, whom else we take at the word of God, the research that they have done, all of them have come out with the wrong message. The people that are following him, Others that they don't follow him, but they believe him as the man of God. All of them are taking his message. 
The research is where you got the message. I've heard enough. I did research. I did research. I did research. 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 In the Bible. Okay. Let first of all we have two people called Herminius and Philetus. They did research. After they arrested, what they found out was that there was no more resurrection of the death, of the dead. We all know that if I die now, no problem. The reason why you will be crying is that you will miss seeing me in person. You will not see me again. The same thing applies to you. If you die and I know you worship God well, I know you might be going first to paradise to go and wait for us. But the reason why I may cry is I will miss your company. I will miss your friendship. I will miss your relationship. The good thing that you have you have been doing for each other. I'm going to miss it. That's why I will miss you. So we know that where we have our comfort or encourage ourselves is that at least you have not lost. A day will come, we are going to meet, meet, see you face to face. These people, after their research, they came out that, oh no, it's not, it's not, it's not the truth. They believe that we will, be we will be resurrected one day when Christ comes. It is lie. It is not the correct message. That's not how the Bible is talking about. Their finding let us know that no more resurrection. Let me take you there. 2 Timothy 2, 15 to 18. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid godless charters because they indulge, because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. Their teachings will spread like gangrene. Among them are Herminos and Philetus, who have departed from the truth. They say that the resurrection has already taken place, and they destroyed the faith of some. It's already taken place. So what about now? Now when you die, that is okay. And they destroy the faith of some. The reason why you see some people are doing this, some the reason why you see some ministers doing questionable things is that they believe that they have accepted it. They believe that they have trusted it. Wherever they come from, it came from, research somebody did. So this scripture passage let us know that these two people, their finding is that resurrection has already taken place. So now no more resurrection. You God have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Resurrection is no longer going to happen after doing research. Number two, there are some pastors that have come out, senior pastors indeed, head of the churches. They are trained challenge. That is why I wanted to take that subject that they are saying no. It's a waste of time. Christians have not accepted it. I deal with subject that is already accepted. These senior ministers heading churches are talking about polygamy is in the scriptures and it must be accepted. So they are practicing it. And the guy who was interviewed, one of them, asked the minister, at your position and your status in life, whatever you say will influence others. Please, how did you come about this? He said, I did research. He did research to go and find out all this. So all that Christian Mary one Mary one is deceived. So what we have now is not the correct one. The correct one is if you are a man, no matter how many women you, you marry, you, there is no condemnation for you. There is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Doing the research, that is what he came out with. I, for, I forgot to, I left my phone uh, in the living room. I should have displayed to you, showed to you the woman who was displaying, a pastor's wife. And that pastor had believed them. 
and he had married the second wife. And the first wife said, No, I am the one who built the church for you. So today we shall see. And truly, he, she locked the door of the church temple, and nobody was able to enter the temple. These are some of the things that I used to say it never happened in any country. For Christian ministers to admit, no Muslim or Christian minister with a clerical head pastor confirming that polygamy is accepted in Christianity. With the scripture support too, not that they are just saying, they have biblical point. But like I said, Christian have not accepted it. That is why I'm not talking about it. I will use three scriptures to condemn all the numerous scripture passages they are using. They have seen it. They did the research and they discovered that. And oh, okay, okay, okay. But there is something called in Christianity called mystery or the truth. You see, the devil tried to test Jesus with the word of God, right? If you are the son of God, of, of God turn this stone to become a bread and eat. He said it is written. What you, what you just said is that it is true in the scriptures. But it is also written, man shall not live alone by bread. Okay. It is written, throw yourself, angel will come. It is also written, do not test God. The fact that it is written, if I throw myself, the angel will pick, uh, hold me and I will, never, I will not strike my foot. That means I have to tell God, God, you said this. So God had told us that when we drink deadly poison, it will not harm you. So this is poison. I am a believer. I'm going to drink it. Thou shalt not test God. To go to test. So whatever the devil quoted, he quoted from the scriptures. And he said, use the truth, the mystery, which was hiding from the devil. So believers don't fall down on the doing the temptation are those who are not mature in the word of God. So they will get one based on it and they are going. What they discover is true. Yeah, even Jacob. Jacob married two sisters and also continued the twelve tribes that we, God used them as a, family, as a nation. Some of them were from the slaves, the, the maidens so that even Jacob did not marry them. So beloved, this Bible contains stories and some incidents that have the rare application in the Bible. In the Ghanaian language, when I was giving them, I explained to you, I explained to them who can properly explain Bible. The constitution of the nation is written in the national language here in American English. So when you have a case and you go to the lawyer, uh, to the doctor, the doctor might have the constitution in his hand. He can read it English properly. But when the lawyer, uh, when the doctor leads you to court, you will be jailed. Why? That is not his work. Even though it is English, he can read it. But the application, the article, how to apply them, how to join them, that is not the way it works. So he can't. If you, good, if you give it to a qualified lawyer, even though it is this and this and this, but he knows what is equal to, the same thing I apply to the scriptures. Maybe I will do that and help you with that in, the, in brief in English for you to know that you don't just follow anybody. We have those that God had given them proper understanding to apply them. So when you find something here, that is not that not all. There are some other things here. We don't do research to get the other things. I will show you how to get it. So the polygamy, research, three passes. If I wanted to do their, their subject, I should have played maybe one or two videos for you to hear them. He said, doing the research. He had written a book about it. Right now, this book is being sold in Ghana, maybe everywhere now. To encourage polygamy. I don't think women will like this kind of church properly. Because women are the, the rather, hey, they don't like it. So some women will not attend this kind of churches. But the men, 
They love those kind of churches. It is the reset. Is it true that polygamy should be accepted? That is what somebody came out with the research. Number three, Abraham Ben Moshe is a guy that has come in Ghana and he has got a lot, very, very large followers, especially Ghanaian in abroad who can have access to YouTube and Facebook. They are following him a lot. He said, Jesus never exists. And New Testament Bible are what we are already are reading from Matthew to Revelation is invented by some people. Invented. Somebody calculated and write them down. The Bible is only the Old Testament up to Malachi. What about Jesus? No, no, no. There is nobody called Jesus in this world. The Son of God had never come to this world. Ah. What about the one that uh, the Jews could uh, crucify him there? it was invented nothing happened that is the story and the guy Kofi asked him how did you get all this he said I did research dearly beloved research has caused great harm in Christianity according to him he was a Christian pastor as your pastor is he had nine branches of churches in Ghana nine branches and he was the general head pastor and he he did research in the Bible. So when he went into the Bible, he discovered that oh we have been deceived. There is no more there is no Jesus Christ. So somebody intentionally did all this to deceive us. Ghanaians know him. Those of you who are not Ghanaian, that's why some time ago I was sharing the message Ghanaians are in trouble. Christianity in Ghana has been attacked. What I used to hear, I don't think is happening to in any other nation. That a Christian pastor on Sunday in the farm with a cutlass, encouraging, telling believers that Christ never tell anybody to go to church. Hey, only in Ghana. Even Muslims don't say they will not believe this Bible, but this guy, this guy, Abraham Ben Moshe, don't, doesn't believe Bible. No, Jesus. Even Muslims believe Jesus. They say he is a prophet. We thank God for that too. But this guy said nobody. So it is the, somebody who just intentionally put those two things down. The early beloved, he came out. They asked him, how did you know all this? He said, I did research. He was a pastor. What came to his mind to go and do research? Do you know what research is all about? I will go to let you know through the traditional and through the scriptures for you to know what research they are talking and they are doing is all about. It's a demonic manipulation action. If you want to go to heaven, any minister you have heard that he had done research and he still believe in research, run away from him. I'm not your pastor. I might not be your pastor. I'm not, you might even not know me. I'm doing my work and work out from here. I'm going to read to you. Anyone you have heard and he still believe what is called research and that is how he had got his findings. If you want to make it to heaven or anybody that is following the researchers, those who get their message from the researchers, please, for the sake of your salvation, that is given to you free of charge, run away from them. Number four. There was also another elder now is a pastor now who was also making an argument that angels have no feather. There is no feather. There is no wing of angels. How can how do you say they fly and they end? Up? He did research and found out that there is not the angels don't have uh, wings or feathers. Oh, wow, they don't have wings. Muniatabai. How did you go about it? He said, research. Do you remember when God sent them to go and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and they met Abraham, Abraham and Abraham? They were, there were no wings. Oh. And there were so many instances of yeah, 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 oh. Christianity. So you wanted them to come to this earth to, for people to see them, that they are angels? God don't do that. 
God will never do such a thing. So dearly beloved, <laughs> we have problem. Number five, I also heard that there was one senior minister also had done research. They checked that in the churches, because of the research that had been done earlier, they have their belief. And this church believed that if you are a woman, you cover your head. If you are a man, don't cover your head, according to the Corinthian that we have done already with. And that is their belief. The senior minister had gone into the scripture to do research. At the end of the research, he came out encouraging the women to join the men. Don't cover your head. It had nothing, it, it, it does not apply to you. It applied to the people, the believers in Corinth, but no believers in Ghana. It is the research that he came out with. At first, the founding fathers, oh, they believe. Man, put the, uh, the cover. Man, woman, cover. That is the belief. But the research has come out to change what was there. Another minister recently was telling me the Church of Pentecost was started by the Methodist. I said, ah, brother, that's for that one, you can't deceive me. As for that one, you can't deceive me. It's not Methodist. He posted to me, he sent all those research to my phone. That, I said, that is why I told you research will not give you the truth. That church, the who people who started that church were from the Presbyterian, but no Methodist. But you see that you have it on your, your, your hand, that it was the Methodist. So beloved, research, there is no way research will give anybody the truth. No, 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 no. In order to understand the reason all of them came out wrongly, you should know the definition of research. So now we are going to find out. Research, 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 research. I'm going to do research. I did research. I've done research. I got this. What is that? What is research? Number one, I have, I think, four of them. The first one, listen to the English properly or in your phone, Google type research, the definition or the meaning of research it will bring to you. And then you understand what I'm reading to you now. Oxford Dictionary, where I got it. The systematic, systematic investigation, investigation into and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts, in order to establish facts and reach new conclusion. New one. That is why I said doing research is highly demonic manipulation. This Bible that we have, according to Apostle Peter, I say it is completely reliable. What came to your mind, even in the first place, for you to question the Bible? Anybody that has done and is still doing research in the Bible is questioning the Bible. It looks like it's not complete. It looks like something is not right. So let me find out if I can come out with something different. They have got some word. This is the word of God. And this is what they are supposed to follow. And they question it. They don't like it the way it is. So they want to come out with something new. So systematic investigation into and study of material and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. So that before somebody would do research, he had already doubted the Bible. What we read, what we have been reading, he doubted. So he want a new one. He wants the one that others can embrace it. So he will go into other things. They will go to other sources. They will go to here. They will go here. Those information are provided by Antichrist. Some of them might be good. Some of them might be deceiving. So if you don't want to lay your hand in the wrong message, don't go there. The materials over there, who put them there? Are they angels? No. Are they Holy Spirit? No. 
Who are they? Human beings. How do you know that they got it right? Those materials you are going to get. Yeah, the one who wrote uh, the book about polygamy, he said he had discovered the book of Bartholomew, the book of Andrew, the book of Ray. That, that book is where Jesus Christ stated you can marry 10 or 50 or even 1,000. So that book is not, that means this Bible is not complete for us. The moment you can tell us that you have discovered something, other things, that is not here. That means this Bible is not complete. Peter has lied to us. Hmm. So, in order to come out with new conclusion, new, they will reach new conclusion and fact. We have got the fact now. The, 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 the belief that every man need to marry one, one woman, one woman, one woman, that, that is the existing one. That is the one we have come to see. And that is what we are doing. He had discovered another fact that Mary one, according to one of them, he said every foolish man marry one or every poor man. People, every man you see he marry one, he is, he is either poor or foolish. Why? Because according to the scriptures in the Old Testament, every man need more women so that the woman will fight over you and that is where no woman can take advantage of you, of which physically and carnally you are right. But not what we want, but what we want it is, or what God wants us to be. So he had found out a new fact. The new fact is Jesus never existed. He was a minister who was preaching about Jesus Christ, even though he had not seen Jesus Christ before. But he, was, he believed him, and he, he accepted him, and he was preaching powerfully. He had nine branches of the church. He did research and came out with a new fact, something that he said, that is, this is the fact. He came out with. We all know that as we are dying, one day we will be resurrected. After uh, the reset, they came out with new fact, new thing, new conclusion. This is how it is. What about the one that we, we believe now? No, we did not get it correct. That the one that we have now is wrong. Let's read Bible passage to see if the new one they are bringing is right or not. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 16 and 17. 16 and 17. 8, 16 and 17. Any Bible of your church, you can read it. you get the same point I'm talking about. When I applied my mind to know wisdom and to observe the labor that is done on earth, people getting no sleep day or night, then I saw all that God had done. No one can comprehend what goes on under the sun. Despite all their effort to search it out, no one can discover its meaning. Even if the wise claim they know, they cannot really comprehend it. He tried to Research is you are using your mind, your wisdom, your intelligence, your cleverness to search new things. This one, I don't think this, this, this one is right. I think something wrong with this one. Let me find out. So you look for other material, just like the polygamy man also got other scriptures, Bartholomew, Andrew, and the book of Thomas. He got all of them. So... After getting all of them, he realized what we have now is wrong. So what we have now is wrong. After somebody went, went through the scriptures to gather, to gather all other materials, to gather all of them together, he came out with, hey, we have been deceived. Why, brother? There is nobody called Jesus on this earth. Jesus, there is no son of God who have come to this earth. Uh, what about the one who was crucified? No, they lied. Listen. Despite all their effort, it is a great effort they put up to come out with those uh, facts they, they, they are telling us. 
despite all their effort to search it out, no one can discover it. Mean even if the wise claim they know, they cannot really. Anybody that has done research will never come out with the correct message. Number two, research is defined as the creation of new knowledge and or the use of existing knowledge in a new and creative way so as to generate new concepts, methodologies, and understandings. <laughs> hey, research. <laughs> I did I, I did research. Brother, how did you get it? I did research. No, you can't do research in the Bible. You, do you know what research is all about? Research is defined as the creation of new knowledge. The knowledge God has given to his people, the researchers are bringing another one, which are contrary to the one God had given. That's why last video I said God don't, doesn't have solution for Christian lack of knowledge. But the people that depend on this knowledge, the people that depend on this research, are the people that are leading Christianity. They are leading higher and bigger churches, higher congregation. And so people and public accept them as men of God. Research. If you find the creation, they are creating new knowledge and all the use of existing knowledge in a new and creative way. So Jesus Christ saw this, he said, ah, they have a fine way. Let me take you there. Mark chapter 7. <laughs> hey, Christianity, we are in trouble. Mark chapter 7. Verse 7. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. You have let go of the command of God and are holding on to human tradition. And he continued, you have a fine way of setting aside the commands of God in order to observe your own tradition. A very nice way in order to put what God wants his people to do aside and bring a new thing. Baba, why are you telling us that uh, right now, this church that your founding members said, as men, we should not cover ourselves, our head, but the women should cover. Why are you telling us this? Oh, I found out that that is not true. So he put aside what was there, what the people are obeying. So in order for the devil to win them, he need to take them out from the way. So now a new one has come. If you are a woman, if you like. What about men? If I like, can I cover? No. So what is this? To get people. They have a fine way of setting aside in order to bring another one. That is research. Research will not give you the truth. <laughs> Number three. New understanding. This could include synthesis and analysis of a previous Research to the extent that it leads to new and creative outcome. New and creative outcome. And the second one is uh, research is defined the creation of new knowledge and or the use of the existing knowledge in a new and creative ways. So as to generate new concept. New what? New concept new methodologies and new understandings. Let me take you to Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. He has made everything beautiful in a time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Eternity in the human heart. Yet, no one can fathom what God had done from beginning to end, no one, no research can help you to properly understand 
everything God had done from the beginning to the end. Maybe I will continue next week for you to know who, who can help you. So dearly beloved, the third one, I'm going to read the passages for you. This could include synthetic and analysis of previous research, previous previous research to the extent that it lead to it lead to new and creative outcome that creative outcome is what ecclesiastes chapter 6 chapter 8 16 and 17 let us know that even though some people claim they have found it they said they lie they can't find it there is no way they can find it The existing, the previous research. Who did the previous research? Luke chapter 1, 1 to 4. So, the research has already been done. And we have got the Bible. And they are trying to put this one aside and bring new one. That makes it for. This original one that is compiled here. Any other thing that is complicated to this can never be accepted. Cannot supposed to be accepted. Look 1, 1 to 4. Many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that you have, of, of the things that have been fulfilled among us. Many. So many believers, leaders are doing research to come out with something. The researchers are now many. So many have undertaken to draw up an account. Everyone is doing research. As long as you are highly educated and you know other sources, where you are going to get those sources, those sources were not written by angels of God. Those sources were not written by the Holy Spirit. This Bible is what is written by the Holy Spirit. Apart from this, any other thing can either be the yes, Holy Spirit or not. If I write a book, if you believe me that I am being controlled by the Holy Spirit, that's why you like the book and you read the book. If you don't believe me, you will not value the book. But everyone in this world is supposed to accept this Bible. This is what we all know that it is for the Holy Spirit. We have some comments. Some of the Bible, the comments are down. Uh -huh, the comments are down. Those comments do, do not come from the Holy Spirit. It came from the human people, human believers who have done research or who are also commenting their understanding. They may get it right, they may get it wrong. So even in the Bible, apart from the chapters and the verses, any other thing come from fellow human beings. And these are the people that Jesus said they have a fine way of setting aside the correct one and bring the new one which look like it but in a different way. That is how the devil used to set people from the hand, the hand of God. One subject the devil can plant in the church and take everyone from God to himself. So that's why Christians don't have to take the word of God lightly. Ain't no problem. I mean, I'm doing my... You see what is happening here? This could include synthesis and analysis of previous research to the extent that it lead to new and creative outcome. What do you mean by creative? Something that you are creating by yourself. Not the original, but you are creating it. So there are so many things that have been created. So many believe that were created by believers, false leaders in Christianity. They created it. Anything beyond this. Hmm. So he said, many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have already been fulfilled among us. Have already been fulfilled among us. Just as they were handed down to us by those who from the first were eyewitness and servant of the word, Luke, was not the disciples of Jesus Christ. 
But he got all those messages to write this book and the answer the apostle from the people who work with Jesus. Okay, Peter, please, I want to ask questions. Uh, when you were working with Jesus, when you went to the Mount of Olives, what actually happened? And Peter will narrate because Peter saw with his eye because he was working with God, Jesus. So Peter will tell him everything that took place and then he write it down. So the, this is the previous research Luke has done. He wasn't there, but he got the message from people who were who were first, who were eyewitness and servant of the world. They were the people that Christ commanded them to to go and deliver the same message. So this message is where Luke will come to you, John. Okay, the other day. Uh, when you were going, Christ, what happened? And John would narrate, okay, Christ told this and this to wait here, and this and this to come here, and then when we went there, he bent down and used his feet, and Luke would be writing them down. So this one, that Holy Spirit, has, has guided Luke to come out with, it's complete. It's completely reliable. Any other thing, any other comment, that from any fellow human being, he can get it right and he can get it wrong. So if you want to serve God, don't follow researcher. He might get it right, he might get it wrong. But according to the scriptures, he said, if, if they claim they have seen the truth, he said they are lying. Research will never give anybody the truth. Nobody. Look at my friend. He said Pentecost came from Metro. I said, no, I know where this come church comes from. And I was able to prove to him where the church came from, from the Presbyterian, not the Methodist. But through the research and the book that he sent, he sent to me, it was from Methodist, which he got it wrong. That is through the research. Another person did research. Jesus never existed. Another person did research. Polygamy. Another person did research. Uh, resurrection. Another person did research. Covering. So nobody will get it correct because of the previous one. Verse 3. With this in mind, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I too decided to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the certainty of the things you have been taught. Look at already done the correct message. He got it from the people who were walking hand in hand with Christ. So he got the correct message and he had written them down here for us. What again? What are those, are all those research for? So you want to find out where was Christ standing that he wrote this? Where was Christ standing? How did you get it? But it was over 2,000 years ago. Which source of book that is telling you? The, who wrote them? The research is you are going beyond the Bible. The research they do, they go beyond the Bible. That's why I, I read for you. They got some materials and the sources, some books like the, what the prophet pulled out and sent it to me from this church. This and So they are going for other way, beyond the Bible, other materials to get it. Who wrote them down? As you have come, this is what the Holy Spirit has given to us. Anything beyond this can be deceiving. That is why God is not able to help his people. So Luke has already investigated everything and has put them down. Holy Spirit has sealed it and is completely reliable, dependable. That is okay. Whatever Christ was standing, and whatever was happening, and whatever he wrote it, and all this and that, and when you bring it from Hebrews, you get this, you bring it from Greek, you get it, not, no, none of them matter anymore. None of them matter anymore. What matters is what is already here. If you want to follow those who have gone beyond this Bible, that is your problem. When I received my God, and he told me, Whenever God calls somebody, shortly the person will begin to do some 
questionable thing people don't understand. He explained the reason is that you don't handle the word of truth correctly. So me, if I don't want to be deceived, anything that is not in this Bible, don't believe, I say, okay. When somebody say, he saw me God, telling him this, 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 this. When you open the Bible and it's not like that, don't believe, I say, okay. So beloved, as I'm sitting down here, I'm very, very, very strong. As far as deceiving Christianity is concerned. You say you, uh, Jesus, you went to Jesus, right? Okay, okay. Me too, I've been to him before. He didn't tell me this is wrong, this is right, this is wrong, this is right. Everything he has already given. So when I was there, he didn't tell me anything. What he told me was that so that people don't believe you, I say they don't believe me. Few believe me. The others, they still follow the crowd. Okay, go and do, deliver the message. Through that, he rejected the people. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I was deceived. My girl pastor deceived me. It doesn't count anymore. Deliver the message and let me move on. So this is the Bible and this is the word of God. So I, 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 was, I was, somebody was telling me that one pastor was preaching that in the in the Bible there were so many people who have died. Lazo died for this. What did Lazo came out to do to tell us? Somebody who said he died 19 hours in his own home. Nobody was a witness to that death. He came with the uh, the chain on his neck and uh, testified what he had seen, and he has come back to tell us that. Another thing that when you put a chain, you put a ring, you put a ring, you go to hell. But you yourself, you were wearing chain. Why? He died 19 hours. Even Lazarus, who died four days, he didn't come to tell us what God told him. Dear beloved, if you don't want to be deceived, run away from those I see, I see. I see, I see will take you to hell. Lazarus died four days. He was buried. He did not come. He came back to life. He did not come to tell us who, what is happening to people in hell, what is coming to you. Jesus told us. The rich man said then, let somebody go and, and speak so that they will believe. He said, no. You don't do that. When you do that, we cheat the devil. You have some people that over there, Moses and all that, let them listen to them. No, I was one of them. When they, you, 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 they are speaking to us, we don't take them serious. If somebody go out from here, then nobody will go to hell. If right now those who have died, if any of them come back, and then they are supposed to provide that information, nobody will go to hell. Nobody. If they come back, if a Muslim died now, and he come back, and he say, hey, Say true, only Jesus Christ, so all the Muslims support to come. If seven days, one person die and he come back. Hey, we don't know. We have to worship God on Sunday. All of them will come back. So if going there and come back will provide those information, then nobody will go to hell. So if you come back, whatever you are telling, you are telling people, me, I can believe you and I can disbelieve you based on the scripture. So as I'm sitting down here, the scripture is with me. I'm reading them for you. If I sit down here and I recite, you don't believe. So I'm reading them to prove, to confirm to you. So whatever you are telling me, I know where the scripture is. Whatever you are telling me. When some people are asking me a question, I don't have no, no, no notebook that I can answer every question and you the scripture passage, even your own Bible quote here. Read here, read here, read here. So as I'm sitting down here, no, none of your research can come to me. Why? It might go in line with the word of God. But you have gone beyond the Bible and you have brought something new, which we don't have Bible quotation. We God have mercy on us in Jesus' name. The last one. Research it's a way of looking. Research is a way of looking for new information, new understanding, and new fact. <laughs> hey, why are you looking for something new? 
What is wrong with this Bible we have? Dearly beloved, what is wrong with this? Why are we questioning Bible? Eh? Why are we questioning Bible? Why you want to, you want new thing, new thing, new, new, new? What are those new for? Research is a way of looking for new information. Or pass them for the way one pet, one pet, one pet, They don't want this one that we have. They want something new. Those new things belong to the devil. This is what belongs to God. Apart from this, nothing again. Any other thing that you are coming out with what we have here. What you are, you have a fine way of setting this one aside. You get some people who believe you, but on me, it will see, it cannot go. It cannot penetrate. I will ask you some questions. You will tell me uh, that book was written for the book of Corinth. And I will tell you which book was give, given to the Ghanaian. Shame on you people. Shame on them. So new, new. They are well, look, it is the way of looking for new information. What we have, they want another one. New understanding. They understand that we should marry one and move on. No, they are bringing another understanding that as Christian you are free to marry 50 as long as you have money. New understanding of practices. A new fact, the fact is that the Messiah you're talking about had not come. And there was no Messiah. Why? That Messiah was to be called Emmanuel. But this one was called Jesus. Which Bible quotation in the Old Testament, Testament that it prophesied that Jesus was supposed to be born. That is the problem. He had got new fat. So as you are so serious about Jesus, 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 somebody who has become a minister as your pastor before is, is, is telling the people, the whole world, that we are lying. You don't have any Jesus in this world. If you go to Jude, no, there is no record that somebody has come that is the Son of God. They are still waiting for the Son of God. So what about the one that we are celebrating Christmas and Easter? You people are fool. You don't know what you are talking about. Hey, that is the new fact from the from the research. Romans chapter eleven thirty three. Romans eleven thirty three. Oh, the depth of the riches and of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgment and his path beyond tracing out. <laughs> How unsearchable. So and there is no research in this world that can give you the correct understanding, the true fact, and also the, the, the new, the correct information. Reset. This God. Bible is God. So, how unsearchable his judgment. And his path beyond tracing out. You understand that word? When you are tracing somebody. When you used to go to a farm where, with a uh, dog to cut some grass cockatiels and other things. You trace them. Their leg. Where they put their leg. You know there is an animal they were here. They will follow him. They will follow it gradually. They will follow the, the full step. And finally they will go and find it stand, sitting there or sleeping there and cut it. But for God, there is no other material apart from this Bible that you can see the proper fact from God. How unsearchable. You can do that and get and come out with a correct message. So you see, after Luke and other writers got the rare stories and incidences from the people who physically walk with Jesus, whatever anyone come out with is wrong. The reason are the following three points below. Like I said, I'm trying to run up within the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes with the three points. The reason why research always come out with wrong a wrong message or wrong information is that number one 
The Bible contains the word of God, which is spirit. This book called Bible, this book called Bible contains God's word. God told Jeremiah, pick up a book and write the words, whatever I have told you. So those books were the words of God. So this Bible contains God's words. So God's words are in this book. And the words of God are straight. So there is no way you can use your human wisdom and your academic higher education to understand spiritual things. John chapter 6 verse 63. John 6 63. The spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the spirit and life. <laughs> so you, you are human being. You are going to do research in spirit. Where can you find it? You can't. You understand? So it makes everyone a liar who claim he had found the fat from the research. Number two. The words in the Bible which lead believers into the kingdom of God is the mystery that is also hiding in God. Last video and last week, I let you know the three forms of word ministration, the gospel, the preaching, and the teaching. And I let you know the gospel produces Christian or salvation. And the preaching retain, maintain, sustain Christian to continue to be Christian. The only method that leads believers into the kingdom of God is the teaching of the mystery. The teachings of the mystery, the truth. That's what Jesus told his disciples. I'm going to teach you. You are believing me. You have received salvation. But that is not enough. You, and on this earth, you are a child of God. In order for you not to get perished, I'm going to provide other information for you. If you hold them firmly, you are going to be my disciples, really the, the real one. And that is where you know the truth. And that truth will set you free. That truth will lead you to the kingdom of God. Oh, so the truth is hiding. So if you want to use your me human mentality, to get the truth. Where can you find it? The, like I said, beyond this Bible, all those materials, computer, anywhere that you are going, you are going to do research. It doesn't contain this. This is already here. But the truth is hiding in the same book. Not anywhere. Else. Let me read for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 7. 1 Corinthians 2, 7. No, we declare God's wisdom. A mystery that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. A mystery that has been hidden. What is mystery? Mystery is something that is secret, high secret, you don't can't find it. And that one that you can't find also hiding, hiding. It is hidden in the long time. Where is it hidden? Where? Let's go to Ephesians chapter 3. Vision chapter 3 to find out where it is hiding. 3 verse 9. And to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery. Of what? Of this mystery which for ages past was kept hidden in God. Was kept hidden. So the Corinthian letters know it is hidden. You don't know where it is hiding. Here, the same Apostle Paul is revealing where you can find it. It is in God. <laughs> where is God? So where your people, your ministers are going to find the truth, that is not God. The truth, the mystery is hiding only in God. So they can't find it. They can't find it. They can't find it at all. So... Something that is hiding. You say you are going to search for it. How can you get it? You can't get it. So number three. It is only the Holy Spirit who have the access. 
into the mystery. It is only the Holy Spirit who alone has access into this mystery. In other words, anybody that will try to do research and try to ignore the Holy Spirit and do it by his own way. In doing it in your own way, you have even already disrespected the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 2 verse uh, 6 to 16. Quickly, quickly, quickly. But 10 have the point. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the ruler, rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. No, we declare God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden and that God is seen for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would have not crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the thing God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. The mystery is hiding in God. And your pastor got some other materials which is not God. They came out with, that is the truth. They have deceived themselves and they have deceived you. Because the mystery, the truth is hiding in God. It is the Holy Spirit said, these are the things God has revealed to us by His Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. Now you are getting to see why the ministers are playing with you, right? They are playing with your salvation. And one of them said, they said, because you don't think. So as for them, they know you don't think. That's why they are telling you all this. If you think, you know that that is the work of the Holy Spirit. He is the one who can go into where God is and get it. Going to any other place, you will be going to the devil. So that's why I say doing research in the Bible is highly demonic manipulation. No matter no, no matter how anybody preach, no matter anybody position, no matter anybody can do, as long as that person done has done research and is still doing research and is still believing research, he doesn't know God. It is the Holy Spirit that search it out because it is the mystery and it is also hiding. So that's why sometimes when I preach, the elders and the pastor says, well, how did you get this? How did you get it? I said, I get it from the Bible. Oh, so what we are so playing. You want to know how, how, how the other, another elder who is now a minister or head, head of the church now, he joined our church. He wanted to know how I, I got the message. He wanted me to tell him if I have any secret. I said, I don't have any secret. He later got mad about me and he left the church to go and start his own. He think I, I'm not telling him the truth, but I don't have any secret. The secret is that the Holy Spirit is the one who can go and get the truth. Come and give it to people that Christ has selected for him. These are what those are called men of God. If you are not one of them, the Holy Spirit will never give it to you. No. Because he is working with Christ. John chapter 16, 12 to 15. That's what Christ told us. When he comes, Holy Spirit will come and continue. And the Holy Spirit is working with people Christ has selected for him. When Christ ascended to heaven, he gave gift. He caused some of them to become apostles, some of them prophets, some of them evangelists, some of them pastors, some of them teachers. If you are not any of them, he cannot deal directly with you. So you will follow them. All of you will follow the apostle. Apostle have all your gifts. So that apostle, in Bible we have only two apostles, Peter and Paul. The rest are not apostles. You understand? John was a prophet and James was a, James was a pastor. And Peter was the apostle. And then apostle Paul. Look at their, uh, their, uh, their books. 
if you go to their books, Apostle Paul introduced himself as an apostle. Peter introduced himself as an apostle. John and Jane, they never did introduce themselves as an apostle. It's a mystery. These are the mystery. If the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit does not tell you, you will not find it. So that guy thought maybe, why are you hiding things? I've come to, to worship God and you are a very good teacher and, and the way you get the message is very strange. So if you have any, he thought maybe I have other stuff. Maybe I have some books or maybe I have done research. I've got some information, some material. <laughs> That's the right word. He thought I've got some material that uh, I have been using to preach, to come out with all this information. When they hear, it becomes something new. So I could let him know. I said, brother, Edda, if I tell you I have any material, I'm lying. I receive it. I receive it. I, receive, I have the time I receive mercy. So the other day, some people were talking, I told them, hey, you, you prophesy. When you prophesy, the time God wants to use you, he will use you and for you to prophesy. By me, he communicate. I ask questions, he explain, because I will never come and sit down here and preach a message that there might be a question that I cannot answer. So since I started here, no question that has come that is bigger than me. The reason is that when I get the message, I ask questions. I like asking questions. Every subject, I need the Bible quotation so that I can believe because that is what the voice that called me to me. You depend on the Bible. So when I hear the voice and the voice that the, what the voice is telling me is not going with the scriptures, that is not the voice of God. That will definitely not the voice of God, but some people are so fully to the sense that they don't care about whether they find it as long as they hear and they hear and, and I had a vision and I saw Holy Spirit was telling me this and God was telling me this and the other, say, the other one said it, he was anointed with oil in the dream and I said that anointing doesn't come from God. God will not use oil to anoint you. Me and you, you have been using my message to preach to your church members for all this while. You have been anointed with oil. I have never been anointed with oil. Who knows the facts? Who knows the truth? You, you are getting from me, right? I never get any oil on me. No oil on me. You oil. So dearly beloved, CC must go in line with the word of God. Other than that, you will go to be deceived. So dearly beloved, this is a summary for you guys who don't understand our language. Those of you Ghanaian who understand our language, if on YouTube, go and look for doing research in the Bible has caused apostasy in Christianity. Number two, doing research in the Bible will not give you the truth. Number three, doing research in the Bible is highly demonic manipulation. And number four, the solution to research and debate in the Bible. Those of you who are not and who don't understand our language, this is a brief, the brief message I'll have for you in English. Never do any research. Never follow anybody who have done research. Research will send you to hell. Research, they are going beyond this Bible, what we have, to come out with new facts, new information, new understanding. That is why they are doing this thing to you. May the Lord bless you as I will come your way next week, if God permit. My number is 832-805-2912. Wherever you are, add American code. I prefer testing of the message instead of calling. Right now, I'm here in my office. The phone is in the, on the, in the living room and also in the silent mood. If you call 100 times, I cannot pick it. Why? I'm delivering the message. The same thing, when I'm, when I'm receiving the message, it will call a thousand times. The phone will be somewhere and I will be in the bedroom getting the message. When I'm done, when I finish getting the message, I will come here and write them down in my book. That time the phone will be here. So the moment you call me, I pick it. I stop writing and talk to you.
That's why some of you call me, you get me. Some of you call me, you don't get me. Depend on what I'm doing. So may the Lord bless you as I will be coming your way next week for God permit. Bye-bye.